still praying and speaking over your life prophetic words are very powerful in the name of jesus i decree and declare every closed heaven over your life i prophesy to you right now this by the decree of the watchers let the heavens over you be open now i speak over every day beginning from today till december 31st let no day end without you testifying let no day end without you testifying in the name of jesus christ let me pray for your walk with god this is for me a priority in the life of every believer i don't care what else works in your life if your spiritual life your prayer life your walk with god is down then your life is under a situation that calls for emergency therefore i speak over your spiritual life in the name of jesus fresh fire upon your altar 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 the grace for prayer and supplication receive it in the name of jesus the grace for a constructive study of the word receive it in the name of jesus i have seen the favor of god in ways that i cannot begin to describe i know what the favor of god is and i know what it can do by the privilege of the help of god upon my life and upon this ministry receive favor now shout a loud amen receive favor now i speak over systems and structures i compel them to walk in accordance to the will of god over your life anyone here who has been who has been forgotten between today and next sunday in the name of jesus let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open as responsible citizens we pray for nigeria anyone plotting evil anyone plotting war every conspiracy of dark powers right now we command the elements of creation to fight everything that is antichrist we declare that now the lord of peace by himself he will ensure that there is peace always and by all means in the name of jesus christ Concerning the preparation for the election, I don't belong to any party. I, you see me around with politicians, but I have, I'm a man of God. There's everybody in every party in this ministry. And fatherhood demands that you open your heart for everybody. I don't have any prejudices, no biases whatsoever. But one thing I can tell you is anybody who does not mean well, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not succeed. <laughs> anybody across whether from counselors down till whatever burying animals killing children and draining their blood in the name of Jesus we invoke the blood of the eternal covenant and we nullify those demonic sacrifices but as for you I prophesy upon you you will not die you will not be victims of kidnap you will not be victims of accidents every ministry here represented return back with fresh fire return back with fresh grace in the name of Jesus Christ and for all our international guests I prophesy upon you you return back with answers to your prayers and in the name of Jesus God will do mighty things with you hear me come December when men say there is a casting down when men are complaining in the name of jesus may december be your greatest month in 2022 <laughs> hallelujah i know i've stretched you but please listen hear me 
God helps men even financially stretch your hands towards me in the name of Jesus Christ by the help of God the God of Jeshurun, the one who is able to help men, I pray over your finances between now and the end of this year. May my God, who is also your God, may He surprise you in a way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Very strange, mysterious financial doors, may they open up for you. I say it again, very strange, mysterious financial doors, may they open up for you. Some of you will meet strangers and the strangers will say, God has sent me to help you. I declare over your life, you will not beg. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the sicknesses that fly around this nation, whether airborne, waterborne, realm of the spirit born, I cancel it from getting to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all your loved ones who are not here, but connected to you by faith, please hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, as God is touching you here, may he touch them there. My final prayer for you before I make an altar call please let your heart be open all round rest whatever that is to you all round rest all round rest all round rest Whether it means rest maritally, whether it means rest financially, whether it means rest in terms of fruitfulness, whether it means rest in whatever must happen in your life to be called rest, I call upon my God to give you that rest. All round rest. And anybody who has vowed to trouble you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may God arise and scatter them. In the name of Jesus. Our time is up, but God is asking me to pray for people. I'm hearing in my spirit that there are many people who are having difficulty meeting their financial obligations in terms of house rent or maybe school fees of children or medical bills this is what i'm hearing in the name of jesus this one is by prophecy i don't care whether you do business or not i'm praying for you one week if i be called of god between now and the next one week may my god surprise you one week from now may my god surprise you i say it again one week from now may my god surprise you the lord hear thee in the day of trouble the god of jacob defend you may he send you help from zion i prophesy to you that in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god no more tears in the name of jesus everything that is antichrist everything that is anti-destiny roaming around your life i stand under the corporate anointing in agreement with every servant of god here represented and we decree and declare let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah the bible says in revelation chapter 3 it says i am he that was dead and now is alive he said and i hold the keys the holder of the key of david the key of david is a mysterious possibility in the kingdom he says and by that key i open a door that no man can shut can i declare the opening of doors listen a door is an authorized point of access if someone comes into your house 
through the fence he's in your house but he's not welcome because your fence is not the authorized access point jesus said i am the door that is how important doors are but doors and gates can also be barriers they limit access when they are closed a door that is there is a potential for access doors midwife realms your kitchen your living room your bathroom they are separated by walls and separated by doors if you want to midwife or transit from one part of your house to the other you don't walk through the wall you walk through the door but how many of you know that as as powerful as you are you can misplace the key to your door and it can keep you outside for a long time can i declare the opening of doors in the name of jesus the son of the living god every door every gate before you that has remained closed i speak to it now a fata be open a fata be open career doors be open career doors be open family doors be open financial doors be open in the name of jesus christ son of man can these bones live again it says only down the west he said prophesy to these bones and tell them oh bones hear ye the word of the lord that god will cause flesh and sinews to come upon you but the flesh was there but it was lifeless it says son of man call the four winds and say oh wind breathe upon this lane and they became an exceeding great army i declare let the wind of the spirit blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon dead finances dead marriages dead wombs dead organs come back to life by the spirit in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for the sake of time i made a request in the morning we may not have the time to collate them but please lift your prayer requests and your expectation cards can i speak over them please if you have it if it's in an e-version just lift your phone or just stand by faith and for those who are connecting distance is no barrier at all all of the experience centers and then those who are connecting from across the globe this is how powerful god is hallelujah pray in the spirit in one minute a miracle is about to happen to you just do what i'm asking you to do Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known don't assume that he knows let your request be made known hallelujah hallelujah now keep it lifted please help them I'm about to pray for you and I please want you to believe I want you to believe I'm standing under the corporate anointing here and I want to speak over this keep your hands lifted Jesus told us that when the Spirit of God comes he will testify of him he does not have any agenda on his own except to reveal Jesus to reveal him as the way to reveal him as the truth and to reveal him as life everywhere you see the holy spirit his assignment is to reveal jesus in his entirety i want to pray for you right now please believe believe in the name of jesus take your mind away from the long-standing issues and let your attention be on jesus in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that every prayer request every expectation here lifted in the name of Jesus we turn it to testimonies now 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 
in the name of Jesus Christ hear me for someone here is your prophetic word you will not see wind you will not see rain yet your valley shall be filled with water I decree it unto you you will not see wind you will not see rain but your valley shall be filled with water in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah for another person here you will experience the mystery of Aaron's rod that even though it is not connected to the earth it will still board I decree and declare you may not have any regular advantage but may the Holy Ghost be your advantage in your office may he be your advantage in Lagos in Abuja in Nigeria in Europe in America may he be your advantage in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the lifeless body of Jesus is lying in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea and my Bible says if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead that if that same spirit resides hold on that means anywhere that dimension of the spirit is it raises whatever it rests on anything if it rests on a body it quickens the organs if it rests on finances it compels multiplication if that same spirit that spirit is a razor it does not leave anything at the level it met it if that same spirit i sense in my heart to declare over your finances please listen to me and don't allow anybody lie to you that it's not important no there is a prophetic dimension to wealth wealth answers to value it answers to productivity it is true but there is a, a dimension of wealth that comes by the prophetic it says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe his prophets so shall you prosper the prophet said by this time tomorrow there was no economic manipulation that would turn samaria to a place of abundance in 24 hours but the prophetic and that by the spirit let me speak over someone's wilderness according to isaiah 32 and verse 15 it says until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest everywhere there is drought even financially i command abundance now abundance through the ministry of mercy abundance through the gift of men in the name of jesus christ and for someone lifting your request i speak to you these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus my final declaration over your life dead prayer lives dead word study lives dead passion and appetite for the things of god it says that the fire upon the altar it must burn day and night for some of you you came for this conference it's a renewal conference for you because your prayer life until you came here was dead or dying word study life dead or dying passion for spiritual things dead or dying it doesn't matter what category by the spirit of the living god we fan your prayer life back to flames we fan your word study life back to flames we fan your passion for god for the things of god for the house of god back to flames in the name of jesus christ whether you call it sleeping or ceasing from work i know that at that period you didn't do anything do it he said let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus it's not just the mind to walk it's the mind to rest how many people go to hospitals today and doctors tell them honestly there's nothing wrong they say look i know what i'm the one feeling what is wrong they say there's nothing we've checked just rest and they go back and rest and they get up strong sleep is a mystery are you hearing what i'm saying sleep is a mystery god used it 
to do a lot of things. You can still advance the kingdom even as you rest. It was in Adam's sleep that Eve came. It was in Jacob's sleep that he had a dream. It was in Joseph's sleep that he had direction for where to run away with Jesus. Sometimes, after you are washing and run around, sleep your way into the revelation that you wake up with and it will move you. Oh yes, absolutely. If Jacob did not sleep, he would never know that was the gate of heaven. His senses were alive looking for great one sleep. And he saw angels. If sleep will give me an encounter, I will sleep. Because I need it. I need serious encounters this year. If you don't sleep when you are awake, why don't you sleep? Eat well, rest well. Your personal hygiene. That's alright. Your personal hygiene. I won't talk much there. I'm not a medical practitioner, but I'm one who intends to live long. Listen. Listen. Take care of yourself and your personal hygiene. Please don't say it does not matter. Do not let the financial situation in your pocket reflect in your life and your body. You live anyhow, you wear clothes, smelling sweat all around, you don't care, you just smell it and say, is it too bad? Your neighbor smells and no. No. Don't just laugh. I have to say it, I have the responsibility to say it. I've told us about that bathroom you do with three quarter bucket. Somebody as tall as me, you run and enter, and while you are talking, in less than one, your phone is ringing. Before it finishes ringing five or six times, you are out. My brother, you didn't bath. I, I assure you, you didn't bath. If that's what you have been doing, it must change your health. Food that has spoiled. You are there eating, said, you are, I can still warm it. If it has spoiled, let it go. We are still going to have miracle services. But I'm saying we can minimize casualties for nothing. Hallelujah. Number four. Number four, please write. Number four, the fourth area. Finances. God wants us to focus and experience multiplied grace. Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9 It's our year of multiplied grace and influence and that even in the area of finances. Very quickly. Deuteronomy 29 verse 9 I'd like us to read everyone please. One to read. What's the condition? He said, keep. Keep therefore. Keep these words of this covenant. And he said, do them. He didn't just say, keep them in your jot and leave them there. He said, do them. Practice them in truth. He says that you will prosper. Write the following to guide us through our finances. Number one, set clear financial goals. Set clear financial goals this year. And walk with the Holy Spirit to achieve them. I want to be rich is a mirage. You, you'll never get blessed that way. I want to be rich will never get you rich. Listen, there is a mystery about writing and clarity. The Bible says, write the vision. Then it says, make it plain. What is your financial target? Don't, don't write foolish, childish things. I need one big. No, 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 no. Start gradually. Faith is not stupidity. Start gradually. Write something that is able to take you from where you are to the next level. Don't say, how will it come? Leave that. That's not your business. You get frustrated when you are thinking of how it will come. The Bible says, just like you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child, nor the way of the wind. You don't know how the wind comes. You don't know how a seed becomes bones in a child. Is that not a mystery? That a woman carries a seed and within the space of nine months, that seed becomes bones, hard bones. Becomes teeth that can stay for, for hundreds of years and not just disintegrate and leave. That's a mystery. He said, that one, leave it to God. Your job is to get the seed in the womb of the woman. The remaining activity is God's work. There are certain things about the equation of success you can never understand. There is a mystery in it that is exclusive to the office of God. 
trying to understand it will frustrate you, brothers and sisters. Keep your own part and watch the miracle work. Set clear financial goals. What is your financial goal for this year? As a ministry, we have financial goals. In my personal life, I have financial goals. You must set financial goals. Number two, to experience that grace in your finances, master the laws of favor and abundance. Master the laws that govern the release of favor and abundance. Favor is a law. Preachers have said favor happens anyhow. It's a lie. It's a lie. Favor, it is the, the dispensing of favor that happens automatically. Favor is initiated by exact spiritual laws that can be understood and reproduced. It may take time. See, I'm human. I know that it's not easy. But I'm telling you, if you master those laws, you have built yourself out from this mess that is eating on the earth. Master the laws of favor. You can get the teachings, financial dominion, part one to four, and the wealthy place, part one to four. Please, make sure you get these teachings. Sit with them. Sit with them. Understand what God has said. And then, practice the laws. Do them. He said, now that you know these things, he said, happy are you when you do them. You've got to do them. You've got to do them. The laws of typing. I want you to pay attention to four laws when it comes to giving this year. Your typing. Please look up. Let me preach to you. I want you to be determined this year that you are going to be faithful in typing. First and foremost because you love the Lord. And second because you want to activate the operation of the blessing in your life. Don't say I'm poor. How much do I have? How much do I give God? That's your way out. That's your way out. Never forget. I already shared with us that your tithing is like a spiritual circumcision. Remember our teaching the wealthy place. That your tithing is a spiritual circumcision that authorizes God to come and partner with you. Melchizedek, the high priest, received the tithe of Abraham and did what? He spoke the blessing over him. And the Bible says, Christ today is our Melchizedek. What was the office of Melchizedek? What was the function? He received tithe and prophesied on the givers. So Jesus in that office of Melchizedek receives your tithe and releases, activates the blessing. And I told you what the blessing is. A dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit that attracts to your life people opportunities and resources that's the blessing it's like an electromagnetic field when it comes upon your life everyone that comes within that circumference is compelled to respond to you in another way it's like a charm when it is on you have you heard people call you and say i don't know god just put it in my mind to bless you listen nobody gets up and blesses another person just by default if you are waiting for that you are dreaming something must compel them it's an operation of god called the father of spirits i don't want to start there are loaded messages for this year i don't want to go ahead of myself praise the lord there is a very extensive curriculum that will stretch you this year until you step into that dimension of grace very very important the father of spirits god gave me the revelation Remember, I taught us in James, I think 2.26 or so. It says, for as the body without the spirit, anything you do just from the fresh realm without a spirit component cannot work. That business without the spirit will die. Your family without the spirit will die. He said, for the body without the spirit is dead. So you must pay attention to practicing these laws. When people in the shrine want to kill a man, how do they do it? They leave the man snoring in his room and use some enchantments. Is that true? They invoke the spirit of that man. You see it in Nigerian films, right? And he appears. That man is sleeping. He's not even aware. They called forth his spirit and separated it from his body. And the spirit appeared in the shrine. And then they gave the spirit instruction. From today become unfaithful. Are we together? From today become poor. It's a programming. 
upon his spirit and then the spirit returns to the body and the helpless body gets up and becomes a slave to prophecy it was not aware of that's the same way God operates he's called the father of spirits he can summon any spirit and give them instructions on your behalf so men don't know why they are just thinking about you and they say the Lord led me Venga, the Lord led me to show you 10,000 another person said 10,000 people say you are lucky no you are not lucky there is a spiritual climate responsible for that result this year force yourself to get it I must step into that climate that compels men I returned into this city I think two days ago as I was stepping in not even many people knew that I, I, I think aside from the protocol not many people knew that I was around as soon as I arrived it was like a force that started compelling people Apostle sir, are you around I have a little gift for you someone brought hamper someone brought this and I said this thing works it's not about announcing oh, 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 oh. on your head in one minute and prophesy and say I'm breaking the back of poverty this year please pray I sense an anointing that's why I was telling us to pray lay your hands on your head and prophesy is a year of multiplied grace multiplied grace influenced by the spirit access to uncommon resources those outside make sure you are praying I will wipe the tears of my family this year what they could not do I'm about to arise God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness light to shine out of obscurity Hallelujah. Psalm 112, please, very quickly. Psalm 112. Psalm 112. Four areas I want you to focus on. Under finances, one is your tithing. Please be determined this year that you are going to be serious. Discipline yourself. Don't think it's a gimmick by men of God. Don't listen to those nonsense that newspapers carry around castigating men of God. Yes, I know that there are people who are driven whose God is their belly. But please, the mere existence of error does not mean you throw the baby and the bad water together. Don't stand. The Bible says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the, the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commands. Verse 2. Let's hurry up, media help us. His seed shall be mighty. That's influence upon the earth. He says, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Verse 3. I'd like you to read it and take it as a prophecy for your life. One to go. He says, wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever wealth and riches wealth and riches wealth and riches 
wealth and riches shall be in his house. Like the ark of God came upon the house of Obedeck. Precious sense, Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. The Bible said, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Once there is a need, there is a potent necessity for creation. And it may look as though this is your end, but I want to announce to you that this is just the beginning of what God is set to do in your life, with your life, through your life, in your family, your environment, your locality. Don't put a full stop where God has not done that yet. Don't put an end to what God is set to start. Don't be the one through which God will look at and say, ah, why is this this why is this why is this person behaving like this doing like this so i would like you to be too flexible for what god is doing open up your heart to receive the entirety of what god is doing in your life and through your life as god's word has come rapidly and with sharpness even to you piercing through your bones your marrows and all that concerns you like a double-edged sword i want to tell you that the word of god have discerned your thoughts and the intents of your heart and god knows what need you ask and what need you have stated in your heart through the word of the lord which has come by the mouth of his servant apostle Lucius selman engage those things though despite god knowing that you have need of these things jesus came speaking to us and he said ask and you will receive knock and the door will be open he said he that accepts receiveth one of the way to engage these things that you've heard and to also ensure they become your fullest reality is by asking how do you ask you ask in prayer you ask through the persistent nature of groaning through ensuring and engaging the word of god telling the lord this is your word and you have spoken it forth we know and we believe it will not return to you void please come and do what you said you would do in your life god does not sleep neither does he slumber and so every part of what he has said is wired to also ensure that you become that which he has said thank you and it's we are a sincere pleasure to see you in our next video we love you so so much let this news get to someone close to you someone next door god bless you